Um, so I'm calling it relationship diary. Um, it's just an example I use um, uh, when, oh, it's just been a recent example I've used for implementing the system, creating a database to um, track like situations or issues that arise in my relationship with my girlfriend. And I just thought it was a cool example. Um, and <clears throat> yeah, relationships are obviously important things. Um, and we all love them and we all nurture them. So this is me nurturing mine. And so we're going to use it as an example. So you can follow along. And then in the end, if you want to delete it, you can. Um, and you can create your own system, whatever you want to create. Okay, so um, enter into the ERD file. Um, so obviously, so in the ERD folder, we have subfolders. These subfolders are the bases, and each base will con must contain an ERD.json. It must also contain a CRUD cache folder, which we'll get to later. Okay, so open the ERD in relationship diary. Um, you can just toggle these closed. Okay, so just note that groups, users, and user groups, uh, all of the, sorry, this is a JSON object. This is a JSON file, which contains a JSON object. This JSON object has sub elements. Um, these sub elements are tables. Um, so which contain then further properties we have the, the groups users and user groups table. These are defaults. They, they come with the system. In fact, that reminds me, we need to create these um, by running this SQL here. So open the SQL folder, open three. Now we're going to run users, and then we're also going to run activity log. So um, we've created our database. So now just open it in PHP my admin, I, I guess. Go to SQL, paste it in, click go. Except it says, no database, no database selected. Oh, okay, cool test. Um, okay, cool. Now we also want to do the activity log SQL. This is just going to create some tables and do a little bit of populating them as well. I think it's just going to populate groups. Yeah, users empty. Uh, oh no, wait, users will get an admin. Oh yeah, we get an admin user and we get it's connected to the admin group. Login attempts, um, okay, and then activity log, which is empty. Okay, cool. Um, so now, where was I? Okay, so close that SQL. Okay, so going back to those tables, they're defaults. We need those groups, users and user groups to to help with the permission system which is defaults with this app um, so keep those tables and if you would like to look at those look at those um, records um, and interact with them then keep these things in your base you can of course remove them if you want but I'd recommend just keep them um, okay cool then these ones we're going to delete because that's specific. Okay, now um, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be just duplicate user groups, um, add the separating comma. Okay, so we're going to be creating, um, so, so we're going to create a set of tables now. The, and because these set of tables are all um, related to each other, or not related to each other, they're all, all a part of the same set, they're all going to start with the same prefix, just to keep things organized in my database, because I have other examples that I don't want to confuse them with. So because this is a relationship um a relationship diary I'm going to start prepared the tables with RD not the groups users and user groups those are global tables this is the 